Okay, good morning, girls. Welcome to another grammar lesson on models. We already had one before. Models, the model verbs can and may. Today's lesson on models is going to focus on only one model: must. Now, just a quick reminder, which I trust you should、uh, already know. In our last lesson, we started by establishing the meaning of modal. Models are auxiliary verbs, and I told you that an、uh, auxiliary means helping. Okay, so auxiliary verb is another way of saying helping verb. So that means if models are helping verbs, they they do not stand alone in questions or statements. They always lean. They always go with. A main verb helping it to bring out its function or meaning in a sentence. Now, when we dealt with can and may, the、uh, when we dealt with can and may as as regards how、uh, what they are used for. Sorry, as regards what they are used for, we established that can and may are used to show uncertainty when you're not sure about something. I can't do this. I may do this. You're not certain, so you use can and may, or you want to、uh, state the ability, the ability to do something. I can read. I can dance. When something, when you're not sure, or when you want to show an ability to do something, to carry out an action. So, now must is the opposite of that. If can and may are used to show uncertainty, in the case of must, we use must to indicate certainty. To indicate necessity, to show that something must be done. That means that thing is very necessary. You can't avoid it. You can't skip it. Examples are like rules, laws. If a country has a law, that means that law must be obeyed. It's necessary for you to obey the law. You don't have another option. You must obey it. Therefore, the law, obeying the law, is a necessity. Now let's quickly look at this remember box here to detail、uh, what I've just said. Must is used in these ways: a to say that something is a law or a rule. Example: You must register the birth of a baby. B to say that something is necessary. If something is necessary, that means that thing is important. Now to say that something is necessary. You must take mom to the clinic, so it's very important for you to take mom to the clinic. C to say that something is sure to be true, you must be proud of your polite children. So if if someone has a very polite and well behaved child, it's it's true that that person will be proud of them. So if you want to state that something is sure to be true, C sure certainty. I told you we use it to indicate certainty, right? So, if you have a very polite,、uh, polite child, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that you're going to be proud of that child. So, you must be proud of your polite children. Sure, certainty, necessary, very important. Now, D, to ask if something, we use must to ask if something has to be done. To ask if some is another way of saying to ask if something is necessary. Must I wear this dress to the dinner? So, is it necessary? Is it important? Is it certain that I must that I have to wear this dress to a dinner? I use must. Now we've learned that must is another example of a modal verb. We've learned what we use must to do to ask if something is necessary, if something is certain, if something is a law or a rule. Now let's see how to use them. In sentences, either a statement or a question. Now, what we learned in our last lesson on models still stands here, and if you're able to remind yourself of what we said, then today's grammar rules will be very easy for you to grasp. They're basically divided into two: using must in statement and using must in question. Now, when using a model. In a statement, it's a general rule. If I'm using a model in a statement, I do not begin with the model. I begin with a subject immediately followed by the modal verb. 
But if I'm using a model in a question as a general rule, the first thing I write in my question must be the model, immediately followed by the subject. So if you if you can if you observe this pattern, if you if you can always remind yourself of this pattern, then lessons on models will go very easy. So that the only work you have to do is reminding yourself when to use them. Is that clear? So I know that in a statement, my model comes immediately after the subject. The subject must begin the statement. In a question, the model comes first, immediately followed by the subject. And of course, in both cases, my main verb must stay in its base form, be it a verb to be or an action verb. It must stay in the base form, general rule. So let's see the example here. In a statement where we must begin with a subject immediately followed by the modal verb, soldiers must keep their hair short. Soldiers, my subject, must the modal verb and keep my main verb in its base form. Now let's see an example of the question here. In a question, you must begin with the modal verb immediately followed by the subject. So the modal verb must prefect wear ties every day. The modal verb must, the subject prefects, and the base form of the verb wear must prefect wear their ties every day. Second example, must everyone be a member of a school society? Question mark. Must everyone be a member of a school society? Question mark. Now you see here that be is the base form of the verb to be. I also stressed on this point in our last lesson on models. So please keep that in mind, okay? That's basically all for today. A quick recap. Models are auxiliary verb. Must is another example of auxiliary verb models. Of uh, Sorry, models are auxiliary verbs. A must is a modal verb. One example of a modal verb. Must is used to indicate certainty or necessity that something is necessary or that something is certain, like a law, like a rule, okay? And now we also learned how to use the, uh, the must, the model, the must in statements and in questions. And we learned that in statements, we don't begin with the model verb, but in questions, we begin with the model verb. And in both cases, the, the main verb that the modal verb must is helping must stay in its base form. Okay, now if you have any questions, ask in our WhatsApp group and I'll give you a prompt reply. Please attempt all the practices A to G. After you've done all the practices, take a picture as proof of work done and send it to me on our WhatsApp group before... Uh, I put up the answers. I must get confirmation of work done from all of you before I post the correct answers for you to cross-check. Good luck.